are many reasons why the United States of America has never gotten the full respect that it wants at the United Nations. Most of those reasons are illegitimate, but some are sadly true, like the United States of America's tendency to jump into unnecessary and unjust wars from Vietnam to Iraq. But there is another reason that predates those wars and that predates the United Nations. It is this country's treatment of indigenous people. The 500-year crime that we have committed against the people whose only crime was to be here thousands of years before us. And so for Native Americans, it was 500 years too late when in 2007, the United Nations passed a resolution on the rights of indigenous peoples. It said indigenous peoples have the collective right to live in freedom, peace, and security as distinct peoples and shall not be subjected to any act of genocide or any other act of violence. The vote on this resolution in the United Nations was 144 in favor and four against. The United States of America was one of the four countries that shamed themselves by voting against the rights of indigenous peoples. In 2007, the United States of America voted the wrong way on genocide in the United Nations in a vote unnoticed by most of us here in the United States, but seen very clearly by every other country at the United Nations. The Bush administration's ambassador to the UN voted no that day in what was sadly a morally consistent position for a country that had in fact committed genocide for hundreds of years against its indigenous peoples. When President Obama sent Susan Rice to the United Nations as our next ambassador, she changed our vote. And so the United States joined the countries who got that genocide vote right the first time. Today, the chairman of the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe testified in Geneva, Switzerland, to the United Nations Human Rights Council in a hearing on indigenous people's rights. My name is Dave Archambault. I'm the chairman of the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe. Our tribal nation is a sovereign nation located in the United States. Our sovereignty is recognized by the United States through the legal, legally binding treaties of 1851 and 1868 signed by our traditional Lakota government, government Ochete Shakoi, then passed by the United States Senate and proclaimed by the President of the United States. I am here because oil companies are causing the deliberate destruction of our sacred places and burials. Lakota Access Pipeline wants to build an oil pipeline under the river that is the source of our nation's drinking water. This company has knowingly destroyed sacred sites and our ancestral graves with bulldozers. This company has also used attack dogs to harm individuals who try to protect our water and sacred sites. We call upon the Human Rights Council and all members, all member states to condemn the destruction of our sacred places and to support our nation's efforts to ensure that our sovereign rights are respected. The United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples, which the United States of America now finally officially supports recognizes the urgent need to respect and promote the inherent rights of indigenous peoples, especially their rights to their lands, territories, and resources. People around the world know what we try to forget, that the United States of America has never respected words on a piece of paper when those words are about Native American tribes, especially treaties with those tribes which we violated almost as soon as we signed them. And now we'll find out how much the United States of America respects the words on that piece of paper that our UN ambassador finally voted for on the rights of indigenous peoples. But this time, thanks to Chairman Dave Archambault and the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe and the uprising they have led the whole world is watching.